Hi and welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. Today our wee chat is about centering into stillness. It's a thing that really matters so much to our horses, you know? I think we can be so in our head and overthinking, overanalyzing and just be really hectic. And I've observed this, especially with sensitive horses or troubled horses, that I really believe for them, when we've got all that stuff going on, we may as well be saying it out loud, blah, 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 blah. It can be very disturbing. So to center ourselves to a place of stillness so that we can provide that safe, uh, comfortable place to be for our horses. Of course, we can't give what we don't have. So to be able to come to our center, to our inner being, which is a peaceful place that we have that already, you know, so it's not something we have to learn. It's a practice to be able to come back to that and let go of all the bad habits and all the crap and stuff that we picked up over our life <laughs> that's preventing us being in that still place. So for me, that starts with some breathing exercises and some grounding, and then I would go center. I personally like to put my hands on my heart, and I know our center is actually behind our belly button, a little bit up, but for me, it feels the core of my being, my center is more my heart. So for me, it's a practice of putting my hands on my heart and just pausing, you know, that pause that means so much to a horse. <sighs> that little moment of inner peace and tranquility. And we've been exploring this on the online course. Um, so if you're interested to learn more about the Breathing Grounding Centering and how to take that into our horsemanship, um, you're welcome to <laughs> join us on a future course. And for now, um, have a go and see how that feels to you, you know, so really just to pause and come back to your being. Like I said, it's a practice. It's something we all have inside of us already. And it really means a lot to a horse. We can't uh, give them calmness when we don't have calmness. And there's so much going on in our lives in the world that is disturbing and upsetting and finding a way to pause and say, yes, that's all happening, but also I can have this calm stillness in the center of my being, um, at least for the time I'm with my horse, <laughs> to try to get to that place. Um, despite what's going on, you know, it's an also. It's not that, oh, everything's wonderful and peaceful in my life and I'm full of inner peace. There's always going to be stuff. So it's being aware when we're really stuck in our head and overthinking and hectic and I'm not breathing and we're up there in fight and flight and, uh, and all hectic and that we can choose to say, okay, right now, I'm going to move out of all that. I'm going to come back to my center, find a moment of stillness so I can provide that still calm place for my horse. <laughs> So, thank you very much for joining Umo and I today. Uh, keep on tuning into the light, and I look forward to seeing you next time.